Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I recently posted an organizational video where I showed you my new sticker storage, but I actually had a couple of comments asking me to show all of the stickers that are in all of my category pouches. I never thought you guys would be interested in seeing everything, but buckle up, this is gonna be a long video. So I'm gonna show you all of the stickers that I have that are not in my binders. And also I did a binder organization video just recently as well for my coffee break planner storage. So um, if this is something that you guys would be interested in seeing a uh, like sneak peek of all the things that I have, feel free to let me know in the comments. And then also my Chrissy Ann Designs binder I have right here, as well as all the coordinating stickers that I have from her shop as well. So if you guys are interested in seeing those in a separate video, let me know down in the comments down below. So I thought I would start out with all of my categories and then um, these as well. So this is actually the only sticker booklet or sticker sheet that I have that I didn't put in one of these. I guess it could fit in my food category, but I decided to keep it separate. And um, this is from me and my big ideas or Mambi or Mombi, however you want to say it. I got it at Hobby Lobby. I did not pay $20 for it. Um, but this is all of like a bunch of cute food stickers that could definitely go in my planner. I think I've maybe used one sticker so far, but I just got it not too long ago. I got it pretty recently, but they do have a bunch of these sticker books available. Oh yeah, I did use one. See, I did use one. I used a pasta one. How exciting. But there's lots of really cute stickers in here. So um, yeah, that's, uh, that's this sticker book. And that's the only thing that's not in, like I said, one of these little pouches. So the first category is going to be beauty. Um, I have kind of thought about this before I started filming. And I don't know how many sticker shops I can link it down below. I'll try to do as many as I can. But in there's some things that I just don't know where they're from. But I'm going to try to tell you where they're from. These are some Clarisonic um, little things that I got from a Piper Paper Company. Um, these little guys are from Adriana Piper. When I had smaller storage, as you can see, I had to cut some of these, so some of them are cut. Um, all right, so there are some makeup brushes, more makeup brushes. This is from PlannermaniaEtsy.com. And then, let's see, here's some really cute little face masks. Um, it says, love for stickers. And then I got these little makeup girls from Willow Fields. Um, and then some cute little face masks from Plan to Plan Sticker Co. These hair appointment stickers, I believe, are from Lily Henry. Oh, more of the same little girls. This, I believe, is from Adriana Piper, if I remember right. And it's just this really cute, like, little baths. And then um, some nail polish bottles from Weft and Olive 2. And I know I've had some of this stuff, you guys, for years. I think like the Weft and Olive 2, like those were one of like my first purchases I ever, ever made. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> clearly some of these sticker shops may or may not still be in business. I'm not sure, but you know, I'll try. I'll try my best, guys. All right, so here's my celebration category. So I put like celebration and entertainment kind of in the same category. So I've got some little bingo things from Paper and Clips. And then there's these little tickets from Plan About It. I cannot for the life of me remember where these are from, but I thought these were really cute and I thought they'd be fun for like, if like a kid is over, or I'm going to like a birthday party or something, I don't know. And then these little movie marquees, I don't remember where those are from, sorry. I got a bunch of them. Um, but those are really easy to find on Etsy if you're just searching. And then these are a bunch of game night stickers and this is from A Heartfelt Life. I've got these cute little cinema stickers and where is it from? Stickerific. And then I've got some Netflix binging from Harriet Wright Designs. I do have to say that Harriet Wright Designs, I am like obsessed with her paper. It's so nice. It's still like a matte, which is one of my favorite things, but it's like smooth matte. I don't know how to describe it. And then I've got these little party times. This is Adriana Piper and a bunch of like kid things. And then this, all right, so I wrote on it and pink glittered coffee. I can tell you that I got these when I first started like decorative planning, what, three, three and a half, four years ago, something like that. Because um, I just remember buying them and being like, oh, I'm gonna put all my birthdays in there. And it's like, no, I really put in like maybe 10 birthdays in the entire year now, but that's all right. These cute little balloon animals are from a company. I know that this company no longer exists, but it's Catastrophe Design Studios. 
Let's see, these little onesies, hold on, there's more onesies in here somewhere, here we go. I believe that these are from Lily Henry several years back, and then I got these cute little churches from A Heartfelt Life, and these little balloon bunches from, let's see, The Planner Fanatic, and they've got some Girls' Night, also from Lily Henry, if I remember right. These are um, some stickers that I got at my craft store, and they're from Mrs. Grossman's. I believe you can buy them online as well. There's like little birthday cakes. Oh, here's some more of these, and some more of these, and some more of these. And then um, these are some cute little flags that just have like a little birthday cake in there, and they're from Planertopia, which is like one of my favorite shops recently. And then I've got some like TVs from Planertopia. Oh, that's right, this sheet was like really, really big, so I did have to cut it down even to fit in here. And then these are some more like birthday event stickers that I cut down from Planertopia. And these I actually got in a D stash at the Minnesota, like a Minnesota planner group thing. And it looks like Minted Papery is where they're from, but I thought these were really cool, kind of like, like nerdy robots and stuff. I don't know, I just thought they were really cute. So anyway, these are all my celebration category stickers. And then I have all of my countdowns, which I don't have a ton of them, but I do have some. I have some planner countdowns from Creativity and in Ink, and you'll notice that I pretty much have several countdowns of the same thing. <laughs> um, these cruise countdowns I got from Harriet Wright Designs. Again, obsessed with her paper. It's so, so nice. And then I also have some like summer, these are called summer holiday countdowns, but um, this would be great for if and when I go to visit my parents in Florida because it's basically summer all year round there. Um, here's some more of those planner countdowns that I used some of them, but I decided to keep them still from Creativity and in Ink. And then also I've got some Christmas countdowns from Creativity and in Ink, some Halloween countdowns from Creativity and in Ink, and then also some Thanksgiving countdowns from Creativity and in Ink. And then I've got some like concert countdowns also from the same company, which I think is cute. And then I have these with like little Santa feet in the chimney and this is from Imagine That by Lori. So just some fun things and I have a couple of different planners so um, clearly I could use these in a couple of different ways so whether it's like on your monthly or whether it's on your weekly pages or in a different planner it's kind of up to you. Um, this is my Doyle bin, and y'all are always interested in <laughs> where I get Doyle's stickers from. But I got this because they're little donkeys, so they're little asses. So <laughs> that is really fun. And this is from Imagine That by Lori. This is the Plan to Plan sticker code. Doyle does have medication, so um, I put this in my planner when he gets his meds. So it's like a little medication bottle with a paw print on it. Um, these guys, let's see here, are there more? Yeah, there's another one right here. These are from a sticker book from, I wanna say like Michael's a few years back. Also these, it's hard to see. There you go, you can kind of see them. Um, these are from Michael's or somewhere as well, but it's like one of those sticker sheets. Um, this is like his little next guard stuff for his monthly medication. Also, uh, these pop prints are from Adriana Piper. There's probably more in here somewhere. I got these from Anxiety Aids, and it says, what in tarnation? And it's got a Shiba with a cowboy hat on it. <laughs> and then also, these are from the same company, but it says, such wow. Oh, these are the same thing from Michaels. Also these I got on Etsy. They're hard to see because they're on like a clear backing. I, I've used all of but all but one of them. Um, oh gosh, it's hard to see. Hold on. Let me move some stuff. There we go. Um, I've used all but one of them in the red version of a Sheba. I don't have a black and tan, which these are the black and tan Shebas. But I got them on Etsy, but I, I don't know where they're from, but they're obviously like a manufactured um, not not like a handmade thing. Oh, these are more from that Adriana Piper. But I'm sure you could look it up. These, I'm so sad. <laughs> this person doesn't make stickers anymore. It's River and Rose Design Studio. And um, she made like Doyle Sheba heads for me. Like a long, this was like right when I first started planning. But I'm sad that she doesn't make them anymore. But oh well. If any sticker shops out there want to make some more Doyle heads for me in about this size, that'd be fantastic. And then these I actually got on erincondren.com. I've actually never used one. I've had them for a while, but they're those like personalized um, stickers that you can get. So I have uh, Doyle dogs. So yeah. Moving along, this is my Erin Condren bundle. I am not going to really talk about these. I am just going to show you what I got because there is a lot and there are several different ones that go with several different bundles and some of these are like exclusive. 
I'm not sure, but I'm just gonna like flip through them. There's a lot of them that are the same as well. So, you know, bear with me for a moment. But these are all on erincondren.com. There's a few of them. Like I think maybe this one? Or no, I know this one for sure was a exclusive for one of their surprise boxes. So I always get their surprise boxes. So I don't know. It's just one of those things where I'm like, <laughs> I've got a lot of Erin Condren stickers. And then, um, so these are kind of their decorative ones. They have some functional ones too. And I know that these ones that I'm kind of floating through right now are on their website, but lots and lots of things from Erin Condren. I'm kind of excited that they got into stickers to be honest, because it definitely like goes with the colorways that are in their planners already. So if you're like really into matching things and all of that, that's great. And um, I like what they did too, where they, actually took some of their decorative stickers and functional stickers and kind of used the same color palette. So it would, you know, like marry up nicely together. All right, and then over here, let's move these out of the way. Then we've got some kind of like larger stickers. And some of these, I think this one might've been from the back of a planner, I can't remember. But sometimes I do take things out of the back of a planner. Like I know these ones for sure are from the back of a planner, but I swear if they're like in the back of a planner, I don't remember and I don't end up using them then. So I tend to pull mine out of my planner. I mean, I know it's nice on the go, but since I do so much other decorative stuff, I just kind of need it in my storage system or else it's like not gonna happen. Oh, and then I have this one as well that's like still in its like little casing. So anyway, those are all of my Erin Condren stickers. And then this is the food category, which is extra fun. So let's pull all these guys out from here. And then, okay, so these ones are from a sticker book from, I don't know, Michael's or something a long time ago. And then I have these cute ones that are from Once More With Love. They say cheat day on them. I've got these little like alcohol icons and I think these are from Libby & Co. Um, we've got some anxiety aids. Imagine that by Lori with some cute barbecue. Another anxiety aids, it's all sushi. Um, this is from, these brunch ones are from One Orange Snowflake. These wine ones are from Adriana Piper. Um, these are a little sticker sheet from that Mrs. Grossman's again. Um, and there's just these cute little ice creams that are really fun. This is one of my favorite ones from Stickers, Washi, and More on Etsy, Taco Tuesday. I think I've gone through a couple of sheets of these. And then again, these are from Michael's. Um, this, I don't know where it's from. It's, you know, like candy. It's one of those sheets that I think I got at a local craft store, but I don't know exactly where they're from. Here's some just like random popcorns. I have no idea where those are from. I've got a little Olive Garden sticker randomly. <laughs> <laughs> um, more stuff from Michaels. I've got this meal planning one from Planner Press. Um, more Mrs. Grossman's, but these are like fruits and then this one's a vegetable. Um, here's some sodas, but I think that these, if I remember right, are from, even though I put them into strips, I think that these are from Adriana Piper, if I remember right. And then let's see, this Very Crafty Mama, I've got some cute little sushis. Also from this Very Crafty Mama, I got some Brita's. Um, more Mrs. Grossman's. I have no idea where these are from, but like little brown paper bags. More This Very Crafty Mama. More This Very Crafty Mama. More Mrs. Grossman's. Sorry, there's like a lot of the same. Uh, this is from Willowfields. This like from a long time ago, like three, four years ago. Uh, more Mrs. Grossman's. Here's some Chinese takeout from Weft and Olive 2. More wine from Adriana Piper. All right, and these are all from, let's see if I can pull all of these out, make it a little bit easier on myself with editing. All of these guys are from that sticker book from Michaels, more popcorns, more Mrs. Grossman's, more booze from Libby and Co. And then the paper sacks again. I can't remember those are from. Um, these little cuties are from Catastrophe Design Studios. That's the one that I said previously that is no longer in business. Oh gosh, look at these. So these are all Mrs. Grossman's again, but all different types. So I think you can actually order them online too. I've got some cute little Chinese boxes and then um, more alcohol icons. Let's see. This is really a cute one. It's from This Very Crafty Mama and it's like summer barbecue and 
all that good stuff. Oh, I don't know why this, okay, so this shouldn't be in here, so I'm gonna move this. But this is from Paper House Productions, and I believe I got this at Michael's. Um, more of those brunch stickers. These are also from Mrs. Grossman's. These I got at Michael's, um, actually not too long ago, but they're like little food icons, and I can't remember the brand, but you can pick them up at your local Michael's, I believe, right now. So let's see, more of these barbecue ones. This Mrs. Grossman's, again, these are something you can get. And I can't bring myself to get rid of these, you guys. It's so sad, like there's no more Dragon House anymore. Like if you guys have followed me on my vlogs and stuff for a while, Dragon House was like my favorite restaurant. Unfortunately, they closed after like, I don't know, 40 years or something. Like it was a long time. Like they opened before, I, I'm pretty sure before I was born maybe. I don't know, maybe it was 30 years. I don't know. But I always remember going there and I, I can't bring myself to like toss these. And I haven't found another like good Chinese restaurant, so. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> so I've got these cute little farmer's market things, and I think the farmer's market ones were from Libby and Co, maybe? I don't know. Um, I also have these larger grocery bags, and then I've got these smaller grocery bags. I don't know where those are from. I'm sorry, it's been so long. Um, I have these cute little girls that are pushing a grocery cart, and I got these at Plan to Plan Sticker Co. Um, these are from Paper and Clips, the Aldi little signs. Let's see, I've got some tea time <laughs> little mugs from, let's see, Little Shop of Stickers, and stickers is spelled with a Z. Oh, I've got more of these from Michael's. Look at all these booze stickers. I need to like use those up. And then I've got all of these cute little stand mixers from Plannertopia. Wow, I have a lot of food related stickers in my life. Maybe I need to use them a little bit more often than I do. Oops. <laughs> all right, and as for functional stickers, I think I'm just gonna flip through these because it's a lot, y'all. It's a lot. And some of them I don't know where I got them. So these I'm not sure where they're from. All right, so we've got Old Libyan Co., new Libyan Co. All right, so let's just roll through these guys. Libyan Co., Pages and Memories, Planner Kate, more Libyan Co. So much Libyan Co. in here, my goodness gracious. When I was in Fargo, I kind of went on this spree of Libby and Co. half boxes, as you can see, and I still haven't used all of them. So yeah, it's kind of a thing. Yeah, so these are all Libby and Co. This is from One Orange Snowflake. Um, oh, I set these aside. These are from a company that no longer exists, but they're kind of like these like lined boxes, kind of. This is from, I think it's pronounced Emily's actually. It's E-M-M-E-L. L-I-S shop, Emile's, Emily's shop? I don't know, I can't remember. Um, so anyway, but they're on Etsy, it looks like. And then more Libby & Co, shop that doesn't exist anymore, Blue Bonnet Drive, I think these are super cute little clouds. Um, Libby & Co, more Libby & Co, more Blue Bonnet Drive, doesn't exist, doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness, all right, more Libby & Co, more Libby & Co, doesn't exist. Um, here we go, Pages and Memories. This shop doesn't exist anymore, doesn't exist, doesn't exist. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is like how long I've been doing planning stuff, you guys, like these places don't even exist anymore. All right, so Libby & Co doesn't exist. Libby & Co is this one. Libby & Co, Libby & Co, Planner Kate. More Planner Kate. Let's see, Libby & Co, Libby & Co, Libby & Co, Libby & Co, uh, Planner Topia, Planner Topia. Uh, Planner Kate, and I don't know where these are from, and then this one is from Sticker Planet. So yeah, I mean, I've been doing this for way too long, clearly, so I don't know where things are from, or shops have closed, and that happens sometimes, but I'm still gonna keep the stickers, right guys? I mean, no sense in tossing that out. I try not to use, which is odd, because it's like, oh, I don't wanna use that in my plan with me's, because people wanted like, sometimes buy the things I am speaking about, but then it's like, oh, whatever. If it works out great, then that's fine. All right, so this is my health category. So I've got like personal care things in here as well as like doctor stuff. So I've got some Plan to Plan Sticker Co. I've got some contact lens stuff from Adriana Piper. 
Plan to Plan sticker coat for, it says like call in refill, and then just with some RX. I've got these, which I absolutely love. The K sticker co with some like birth control pill packs. Um, I've got some like pills. I think these are from Libyan Co. No, not Libyan Co, sorry. Uh, Lily Henry a long time ago. Um, I got some glasses from Libyan Co because they look just like the glasses that I wear. Um, more of those contact lenses, more of those pills, dentist appointments and doctor appointment reminders, both from Lily Henry. I got these little cute sick animals from juice box paper and I don't know if they still exist they might still exist I don't know um, but I remember that was one of the first shops that I bought stuff from and then I've got some more bottles and this is from a wig and designs and then I've got more plan to plan sticker coats so it's like a little eye doctor this is a little syringe more plan to plan another doctor headache Unfortunately, I think I've gone through a whole sheet of these and now I'm on to the next one. <laughs> um, and then also nap, and then these change toothbrush heads. This uh, shop doesn't exist anymore that made those ones. And then also the lazy day one, these ones, um, the shop doesn't exist anymore. I think that this shop doesn't exist either. Two little sparkles, I could be mistaken, but I remember I thought I thought it, so I thought I saw that. Um, these say nap time and then anxiety aids. It says surprise nap and like a girl laying on a couch. So I thought that was cool um, because if you guys know anything about me at all. All right, sorry, I don't know when my camera cut off. Okay, so here are my household stickers and uh, these are one of my favorites, the sticker washi and more. Um, let's see, Harriet Wright designs that say clean and dust. Adriana Piper has these cute little grandma and grandpas on here. I've got these little like paint droplets and I, to be honest, don't know where they're from. Um, also Harriet Wright Designs. I got this cute little laundry day with like a naked girl and it says censored it's laundry day. Also these planning made easy little paint brushes. Let's see, sticker, well, blah, blah, blah. can't talk today. I'm talking way too fast and way too much. Plan to plan sticker co, clean the bathroom. And then also from Adriana Piper, there's these little like smoke detectors to check your smoke detectors. Okay, so these ones, I absolutely love, but this um, shop is not up and running anymore. It was from Ladybug's Designs, and it's a really cute little closet that says declutter with a bunch of stuff kind of rolling out of it. Um, I've actually used these not too long ago and tried to look them up, and I could not find them, but I don't know. I don't know if this like clip art exists still somewhere, but sorry guys. I've also got these like car maintenance ones. These are from Adriana Piper. Let's see here, and these say clean kitchen, and these ones are from Little Shop of Stickers with a Z at the end. Uh, plan to Plan Sticker Co, clean fridge, Plan to Plan Sticker Co with a bunch of recycling. Oh, I have a couple of these. Oh, I've got more of these clean the uh, kitchen too. Um, these are really cute. It's like a little closet, like a wardrobe, and it's from K Stickers Co. Uh, peanut butter taco didn't leave the house. I clearly have used these. <laughs> and I've got these cute little like campers from, I think these are, yeah, these are from Adriana Piper. Oh, more, more didn't leave the house. More Adriana Piper with the moving boxes. Peanut butter taco with some cute tools. Um, also, these little houses are from, ooh, Libyan Co., I believe. Um, okay, so here's more of these little paint droplets. Um, organized closet from Willow Fields. Uh, Adriana Piper boxes. Okay, these are all from Adriana Piper. Adriana Piper, Adriana Piper, Adriana Piper. Okay, more of those houses. Uh, more of these from Peanut Butter Taco. Let's see, these are Adriana Piper. These are Adriana Piper. These little taxi cabs, hmm. I don't know where they're from. I wanna say that they were from Libby, or no, Lily Henry a long time ago. Um, let's see, Adriana Piper, more of those houses. Um, these little suitcases, I believe I got from Paper Loving Mommy, uh, right when I first started planning, more of those. Um, and then these little beds are from The Pretty Planner, more of these oil change stickers, which are from Adriana Piper. Okay, so here is a bunch of those paint droplets again that I don't know where they're from. Here's Adriana Piper, change the air filter. All right, so I got these change sheet ones from Planner Press. These are from Plan to Plan Sticker Co, saying cleaning day. Uh, planner press that says wash pillows. Planner press that says wash curtains and wash windows. Uh, more Libby & Co. More clean fridges from Planner Press. Uh, post office from Harriet Wright Designs. Actually, I need to put this in a different place. Um, planner press, I've got these cute little houses with a little wreaths on the side. And then, let's see, okay, we've got Planner Topia, air filter, 
And then back behind here are ones I've used just recently, that declutter that doesn't exist anymore. And then these little sleeping bags that unfortunately the um, planner sticker company, I can't talk because I've been talking too much, um, doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm losing it totally losing it okay wow this video is gonna be real long all right so these are my military stickers i don't have a ton of them but i figured they needed their own category for me um a lot of these with the um darker backgrounds these are from a sticker booklet from michael's or like joann's or something several years ago so that's where i got these ones and then there are some that actually do exist on like Etsy or their standalone site too. So let me, yeah, this is the only one that I have. Um, so it's Plan to Plan, Sticker Co. And there's just like little army guys. And then um, there's some of them that are in the like more tan fatigues and then some that are in the like more green ones. So yeah. All right. And next up is my random category, which is basically all emojis, but these are things that just don't fit into any category for me. So um I think I got all of these. I'm just gonna flip through them. These are like some holographic ones. So I'm sorry if like you're, it looks really funny. I got most of these either at like the dollar store or just random places like the poop emoji ones. I think I got at Michael's if I want to remember right. Yeah, like lots of, lots of poop, lots of poop going on. More holographic ones. You know, you just like find these random things and they're usually like at the checkout in places, I feel like, like at the grocery store or whatever. So I don't know. Um, so I don't really know exactly where I got everything, you guys, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so I didn't buy any of these online just yet, but let's keep going through. And I, I'm pretty sure the ones with the white background, like the big, like these ones, the bigger ones, I got at my local Dollar Tree a few years back. Okay. And then this is the same. Okay, and then these ones are, let's see, hashtag shenanigans and hashtag fuckery. I don't remember where I got these. I'm sorry, you guys, I don't know. Sorry, y'all. But yeah, again, these are my randoms. So if something doesn't fit in a category, it goes in this little pouch. And it's like, when I'm doing a plan with me, then I know, it's like, hmm, it doesn't fit into a category. Where would that be? It's like, oh, that'd be in my random category. All right, so next up is my samplers. So I have tons of different samplers. I've actually weeded them down over the years, um, but I've got this one from Planertopia. There's a couple of these from Plan to Plan, um, Chrissy and Designs. Let's see, Cupcakes and Stickies. Is it stickies? Yeah, stickies. I was like, is it stickers or stickies? Um, this one's from This Very Crafty Mama. My Little Chickadee Co, Plan to Plan, Chrissy Ann Designs. I've got this one from Peanut Butter Taco. There's a whole bunch of these that aren't really samplers, but they came in like a pack and they didn't really have, like there were so many different things going on, but these are all from Lily Henry. So those are the blue, the orange, the red, the pink, the green, whoa, <laughs> the green, purple, aqua, and yellow. And again, I've had these for a really long time, so I'm not sure what's still on people's shops. Um, Plan to Plan Sticker Co. This one is from Lexi Kylie Designs. Um, this is actually a sampler set um, that I had for my monthly view. If I can remember, I will put that video up in a card for you guys, but it was like my August monthly view. So I decided to keep these because they just, they're such nice colors. So anyways, um, and then I got this one from Planertopia um, quite a while ago. And then also this one is from Planertopia as well. Lots of, lots of good things in the samplers, but sometimes I, I don't keep a lot of samplers. If I see the sampler and I'm like, oh, you know what? I would use more than, so let's say 50% of the stickers, then I will keep them for myself. But if I won't, then I usually just gift them to somebody else because it just doesn't make sense to keep them for me. All right, so this is my next category of seasonal. Whoop, here we go. Here we are. All right, so I've got these cute little flags from Willow Fields and I have these Imagine That by Lori and all of these little kind of days of the year. Also these cute little Mickey heads that are kind of wintery themed from Plan to Plan Sticker Co. All right, so these are from Mrs. Grossman's and they're really, really cute little trees. And these I got at, I wanna say the dollar spot like several years ago. 
these little like kind of US stickers. All right, so a lot of these, oh my gosh, let me pull these out and talk about them. Oh my gosh. The ones I'm gonna show you in a moment, these are all like, prefabricated for either sticker booklets or sticker sheets from lots of different places like Target or Sticker Books or Michaels or Hobby Lobby or wherever. So there's a bunch of those. Yeah, these are like little monsters, which I don't really know why they're in there. These should be in the different category. Okay, um, anyway, so I've got some Halloween ones. All right, these are Mrs. Grossman's, and I've got these as well. Like, I remember when I bought these. Is that weird? And I bought them like three years ago. Why? Oh, anyway. Um, okay, so these are some more, these are like animal stickers. I need to put them somewhere else. This is kind of nice that I'm going through all of this stuff. All right, we've got some like Irish ones, and we've got some Easter ones, more Irish Easter. All right, so I need to put these in different areas. Oh my gosh, I got some hearts and some more of those little Valentine's-y ones. I've got some more shamrocks and some holiday sweaters. Oh, look, there's more holiday things behind this. And then um, more of those little Halloween ones. Okay, oh, here's, here's more of those like sticker booklet ones. All right, I think, oh, more sticker book ones. Okay. So let's talk about like the other stickers. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> All right, so I got these from, let's see, Miss Amber Designs. It's kind of like a holiday theme. I wanna say all of these are from, ooh, gosh. Like my brain hurts from thinking about all the places that I've bought stickers from and now like kind of like thinking about how much money I've spent on all of these. <laughs> kind of hurts the brain a little. But I wanna say these big page flags are from Lily Henry several years ago. I've got these little packaging bows from Plan to Plan Sticker Co. Like holiday TV thing from Plan to Plan Sticker Co. I've got these little desks. These are kind of more fall themed from Plan It Pretty. And then these are also from Plan It Pretty. And it's like more of a, Christmassy theme, um, more of the October theme or the December theme. And then I've got some of these, which I remember this sticker shop doesn't exist anymore, but you know, you can always search something similar on the interwebs. And these are actually from Planertopia. I did cut them down because the sheet was just way too big. It's like even too big to fit in the frame currently. Um, but it's like Christmas Elf Labels Boy. I believe that they have like little girls, if I remember right, too. So I thought those were really cute. And then also I have these really fun Easter um, decorative ones, too, that I believe I used this year, if I remember right. All right, so next up is shopping. Um, all right, so I got these little cardboard boxes from Weft and Olive. I've got KB Sticker Co. I've got some really cute stuff from her shop. And I've got some like little colorful Target things, Amazon, more boxes. This one I got from Mare Bear Crafts and the cute little Target. I mean, clearly I love Target. Um, this one's from A Wig and Designs. More of the KB Sticker Co. This is from Paper and Clips. Um, Sam's Club from Paper and Clips, Trader Joe's from Paper and Clips, and I wanna say that these little shopping guys are from Lily Henry, if I remember right. It's really hard when I've either clipped things down, because that's like my own issue, or sometimes even the sticker shops don't have their like logo or something on there. It's just like, I don't remember you guys. <laughs> All right, so here's my sports category, which is like really thick, right? <laughs> Actually, it's pretty thick considering um, I don't do the sports things. But um, here is uh, some fishing stuff from Imagine That by Lori. All right, so these are from a long time ago. Um, these are from a like sticker book, if I wanna remember right. So all the ones with that little green background are from a sticker book. Oh, this is from a sticker book as well. All right, so here are some like target shooting stuff from Adriana Piper. And then there's some more just like target targets from Adriana Piper. Um, all right, so when I went to Boston a couple of years back to visit my friend Kristen, she took me to a Boston Red Sox game and I got some stickers to kind of notate that. So these are actually from Amazon, like a long, long time ago. And then I've got some like Vikings head things from Paper and Clips and some twins things from Paper and Clips and then also some NASCAR things from Paper and Clips. So lots of different fun things in there, even though I don't really do the sports too often. It's kind of nice to nice to have them, right? <laughs> All right, so next up, I've got my travel category. And um, ooh, one of these that's sitting off camera can go in here. Oh my gosh, I have so many things, they're all falling out. Okay, 
hold on. So these were over in my other, um, in one of my other bins that did not belong there, clearly. So anyway, all right, so I'm gonna try to put some of these off camera, the little ones, and kind of put the little ones in the front. So I've got these like Alaska State ones that are from XOXO Prints. Um, these are from, let's see, Paper House Productions. They're just like different country flags. I've got an Alaska sticker. All my extra Alaska stuff that I didn't use in my plan with me, which I will put my plan with me, I think it goes up there, in a card if you guys wanna see it. I did a bunch of back planning and I used a bunch of um, stickers that I got at like gift shops and things like that in the plan with me. But um, clearly I didn't use all of them so I will have some of them in here still. I got these cute little trains. I believe these are from Adriana Piper. Again, if I don't have a name on it, I can't remember. But I know I'm gonna get questions on the ones that I don't have names on. I'm pretty sure this was this from Adriana Piper but I'm not sure, I'm sorry guys. Um, these cute little boxes are from Planner Kate, which are just these cute little travel boxes. Um, this is from that Ladybug's Designs. Again, it's like a cruise theme. That's the one that had those declutters. It doesn't exist anymore, I'm sorry. Um, also, I've got these really cute Minnesota license plates that say love to plan. This doesn't exist anymore. Um, okay, so these ones I actually got at Michael's and they're kind of puffy, but they also have all the states. So I don't know, I just bought them and I've just kept them in the packaging. I got these from Chrissy and Designs, but they are like kind of more travel-y themed to me, so I wanted to put them in here. Let's see, and they're all like the Texas State. And then I got these as well. They're just like little license plates, um, but they are kind of more of that like puffy, if you can see that. So yeah, I actually made these myself, which I just took like a Google image and some adhesive paper. Clearly I'm not selling them, so I can do that. But this has like Daytona Beach, which is kind of where my family lives, kind of around there. So anyway, I just thought that this was really cute and I think I used it in my planner like three years ago, but I made a couple of them. So I figured, oh, let's keep it. Llamas, yeah, um, that probably doesn't need to be in there. <laughs> Here are some Go Wild stickers because that is a travel thing for me, more of those license plates. Oh, the Go Wild stickers I should say are from Birds Fly Studios. Okay, this is the shop that doesn't exist anymore. This also the same shop doesn't exist anymore because Catastrophe Design Studio, it's just the Minnesota State silhouette. I don't remember where these are from, I'm sorry. Um, also in the same vein, I got some Florida ones. I don't know where they're from, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, it's like sad when I don't know where things are from. All right, I got some Texas and some Florida stickers as well from that XOXO Prints. These are just some little airplanes. Again, I don't know where they're from. These are these really cute beach day stickers. I don't know where they're from, you guys, I'm sorry. All right, so um, from Sticker Planet, I got these road trip stickers that are kind of like those little, like kind of Route 66 signs kind of a thing. Also, this is that shop that doesn't exist anymore. And then we've got some Planner Topia tickets, like little boarding passes, little travel event boxes. I've also got some more of those flags. I've got Massachusetts stickers. Let's see here. I've got these from Birds Fly Studios as well. It's like a flight number, departure, arrival. Oh, I've got more Texas stuff. All right, and these, okay, so these are all from Alaska. Let's see here, like the ones I didn't use. <laughs> Oopsie, I did not use uh, any of these in my planner. Oh well, what do you do? Oh, here's another one as well. Maybe I'll go back someday and use some of these. <laughs> um, here are just some little airplanes. I have no idea where those are from. I've got some like little Minnesota heart stickers. Oh. These need to go in my countdowns. Okay, cool, we'll put that over there. Um, these are just some airline ticket information things, and I believe that these are from Lily Henry several years ago. And then also these cute little suitcases from Planner Topia. So that is all in my travel category currently. I have a lot of stuff in travel, but I also do it for like statewide things too, so I don't know. I mean, my parents live in another state the majority of the year, but um, so sometimes I like to kind of integrate that into my planner. All right, so this is my work category, which first off, post office stuff, in, 
is in my work category, even though it is kind of a personal thing, but whatever. Um, I currently, I actually just got these and I'm kind of obsessed with them and they're the Libyan Co stickers and they're like the little cash envelope things. And um, I follow the Dave Ramsey program for my finances. And if you guys are interested in any of my financial videos, I'll link them in a card up above for you guys. But um, anyway, so got these, loving that. These are from Small Town Grace. I love her shop. If you guys like like hand-drawn things, um, she has tons and tons of really cute stuff, but these are just some like black and white little like washi roll stacks. Um, plan to plan sticker co, more like girls that are going to the post office and dropping off a bunch of boxes because I feel like I do that all the time. Uh, these are from Adriana Piper and they're just like little typewriters. This is also from Paper and Clips and it says on vacation. These little bank stickers I absolutely love from Adriana Piper even though I hate going to the bank. They're cute though. Um, also from Adriana Piper I've got some mail things. I don't know where these ones are from. Um, these ones are from Adriana Piper several years ago. Um, and I remember this is the first custom order I ever like requested from anybody. And Rebecca from Adriana Piper was so nice to me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I can actually like request custom things. That's amazing. But she had these stickers, but they were all like rainbow colored. And I wanted it to look like my camera that I'm like currently even like that's that's what I'm using like right there. That's that's the camera I'm using. And I'm like, oh, these would look perfect if they were black. So I sent her a request and she's like, yeah, I can do that for you. Here's the price and here's whatever. I'm like, okay, great. And I still have them to this, this day because they were so small and I still use them quite a bit, but I just love them. I'm not even sure if she still has them on her shop. Maybe she does, I don't know. So anyway, but um, also these little notepads and pencils I think are from Lily Henry. I don't know where these are from. Um, let's see, these little YouTube buttons are from KB Sticker. Also some YouTube buttons from Plan About It. These are some of my favorite stickers from Piper Paper Company. It's just an aerial view of a laptop that looks just like my MacBook Pro, so I love them. Um, I also got these from KG Planner, and it's just some washi. These boxes should actually be somewhere else, but these are from Lily Henry, so I'm gonna put those off to the side. Um, some cell phones from Libby & Co., more Adriana Piper, more cell phones. I don't know where these are from. Um, Adriana Piper. Um, these say Organize Office, which, I'm in the midst of redoing my office at the moment, and these are from Willow Fields. Um, there's these really cute little Instagram icons from Piper Paper Company. We've got some mail icons from Lily Henry. I don't know where these are from, I'm sorry, I don't know. Um, also these cute little desks from Plan About It. More Instagram icons from Plan About It. These ones that say don't forget because I don't need to forget things, but sometimes I do forget things. And I believe that these are from Libby & Co. Um, I've got these really cute little notebook papers, but I don't know where these are from, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, I've got these little file folders. I don't remember where they're from. And then I've got these same little ones I talked about before. Let's see, these are these cute little piggy banks that say no spend, and these are from Emile's or Emily's shop. Um, on Instagram, or not on Instagram, I'm sorry. Is she on Etsy? Yeah, it says Etsy. Oh my gosh, I'm losing it. All right, so, so I've got these money stickers, also from Mrs. Grossman's, and then we've got some, like, Willow Fields with cute little planner girls, and then these ones say work from home from Plan to Plan Sticker Co. Um, Jody at Life's Organized Chaos, I will actually link her up in a card for y'all. She gave me these from a parks party um, and they're really really tiny little youtube icons which i think are really cute um, i got these cute little piggy bank stickers from stickerific again these little things more of more of the same more of the same um, these are some of the bigger icons of those file folders again i don't remember where they're from um, i don't know where some of this stuff is from y'all i'm so sorry um, more adriana piper more adriana piper these are from lily henry i'm not sure stickerific more Lily Henry, I can't remember. <laughs> oh, all these pencils are from a place that doesn't exist anymore. Uh, Lily Henry, I don't know. <laughs> plan to Plan Sticker Co. with these cute little cameras. Uh, these well shit, again, doesn't exist anymore. Um, these are really cute desks from, let's see, Little Shop of Stickers with a Z at the end. 
I don't know. Um, okay, so Piper Paper Company, these are the colorful version of the laptops that I was talking about. I don't remember where these are from. This is actually a mug that I currently have in my arsenal, and it says, good morning, asshole, on it. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably have seen this mug a couple of times. It's been a while since I posted the mug. Um, but anyways, sometimes it's how you feel in the morning, you know? Um, but a sticker shop that doesn't exist anymore made these custom for me, um, as well as the well shit is from the same place. <laughs> we got some more cell phones, more of the mugs. These are those Mrs. Grossman's. Okay, so these are a, whoop, I should do it the right way. No spend from anxiety aids, really cute. These are from Libyan, no, hold on. Lily Henry, like Libby and Co. and Lily Henry, I get confused because they're like, they're clearly very different shops, but I'm just like, what, who, where, where did I buy these again? Um, all right, so these cute pencils are from Blue Bonnet Drive. This was a really, really large, large sheet. Um, and it says day off, but these are from Planertopia. Um, I also have these planning stickers from Planertopia, more of these little things that I don't know where they're from. Um, let's see, I've got these washi addict, washi ones from Silent Poetry Arts. Um, and this one is from what, Type A Planning, and it's got like little planners, which is super cute. And then um, these ones are actually from Design Pandemonium from like years ago, which I still love them. So why not have them in my arsenal, right? So that's it, you guys made it to the end. That was such a long video to film, and my brain feels like mush now because you guys have made me think about where I bought all these stickers. And the crazy thing is, is that I have actually gone through my stickers pretty recently and de-stashed a bunch of stuff that just wasn't working for me anymore. So now I'm glad that I went through them again with you guys. And really, to be honest, I could use every single sticker in my arsenal in the next year. So that's kind of what I think about of like, especially seasonal things and things I don't use too often. Like I definitely have a purpose for all of the stickers that I do have, but it feels good to purge them at some point too. But I am so excited that you guys suggested this video to me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna try to link as many of the shops that I talked about down below. However, in my like item description, like in my description box, I only get like so many characters. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to leave their Etsy links or anything, but I should be able to at least list all of the shops. So you guys can search yourselves if I can't link everything. But anyway, that's gonna be it for me today. If you guys like this video, or if you guys made it through all the way to the end, seriously, give your guys a thumbs up. Seriously, you guys deserve a thumbs up after all of that. Feel free to subscribe if you would like to be part of the favorite daughter Emily family and I hope to see you all in the next one. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.